battle has just begun! Oh boy, oh boy, you guys are in for it. This is a match against Eric Johnny Plox, aka X Digital Beam. If you're a true Robotnik is sexy fan, you will know that he was a guest narrator on my channel and a guest battler as well. And this is Wi Fi X and Y battle number two. And holy man, this match. This match had my heart racing, and this is the first legitimate Wi-Fi battle I've had with a team of Pokemon that I've trained myself. Uh, so I'm going to predict the uh, Galvantula or Steelix lead, and this is great. I also predict him to switch into Rotom, and look how tiny Rotom Wash is. He's the size of a nipple. He is a tiny thing. I'm going to predict that. Go for the... Uh, uh, hyper hyper voice, I think. Uh, and because I get a normal stab and I'm modest with max special defense, uh, special attack investment, that does a lot. That is like 80%. Uh, so I know he's probably going to go for Hydro Pump. I go into my special defensive wall, which is uh, Veggie Tails, Veggie Tails, Veggie Tails, Veggie Tails. Um, which gives him an opportunity to switch into Steelix and get up rocks. This was pretty risky here, but I figured that I could live in Earthquake. You're gonna find out later that his Steelix is better than mine and has a 31 IV in attack. It must, because... Yeah, it... It, uh... You, this Earthquake, uh... Poor old Mullet Mindy, uh, even though I have a max IV in defense, I believe, I have no def defense investment. EV investment per se, but I have a high IV in defense. It just takes him right out, so I don't know. Maybe this is an Adamant Steelix? I don't really know. Uh, I actually did want an Adamant Steelix, but I ended up having a careful one, which is kind of fine with me, because I do prefer the special defensive one, as I do have a max special defense on this Steelix, because uh, that's the one I use in RU a lot. And as you're going to see, look at that damage, that damage. His Earthquake does, what does that look like, a clean three? Yeah, that is a clean three hit KO. That is really scary. You know what else is scary? I'm going to have a complete lapse in judgment. I'm going to go for the double edge. I I have, I, I, I was breeding Onyxes for an entire day. I could not get one with Sturdy. So I settled with Rockhead and thought, hey, you know, I got double edge. Why not use double edge? Maybe an X and Y he can learn head smash, right? No. Uh, go for the double edge. Complete lapse in judgment because we're dealing with Steelix here. Steelix has base 200 defense, so that's not going to make him budge. So that's really unfortunate. I do want to save my Steelix for useful death fodder uh, later on. And I'm just going to switch Veggie Tails into an earthquake. And that does a lot. That does over half. And uh, yeah, I do have a day. I do have a defensive nature uh, for this VeggieTales Pokemon, uh, so yeah, his Steelix has a lot of attack. It just has a lot of attack, but I nom that Citrus Berry brings me almost up to full, which is great, and then just take him out with a Moonblast, thankfully. And now he goes into Blaze again! Fun times ahead. Uh, he's gonna go for the Protect, just because... I don't know, Blaziken is faster than VeggieTales anyway. Uh, maybe he doesn't know the base speed of Cauliflowermon, whatever this guy is. Florgus! His name is Florgus. Uh, he only has base 75 speed. That's pretty darn slow as far as the Pokemon world goes. Uh, so, Fire Blitz! My special defense is, what is it, like base 156? That's very good, but my defense is like base 50 or something. So Flare Blood's easily gonna take me out. I cannot afford to switch into anything, so yeah, I mean, hey, it would've been great if he, uh, actually it wouldn't have been great if he set up on me, he would've probably swept me, uh, cause I believe it would've taken more than one uh, uh, moon blast to take him down, so plan, the plan was, uh, you know, I got a impish natured, uh, the claw, a bar, a barnacle, bar, barbarical, whatever the hell this guy is. Uh, the plan is, I, I, I have, I have, I have, an, I have an impish nature. Let's hope he misses the high jump kick, or I live it, and then I can, uh, kill him with the, uh, the watery shell move. Um, but he's gonna make a pretty good move, switch into Tangrowth. 
This scummy bastard, he has not only a Rotom Wash, which is scarfed, uh, it appears to be scarfed, but he has a Leftovers, what has to be, Regenerator Tangrowth. Regenerator Tangrowth is actually very easy to find in uh, Friend Safari, so, you know, uh, you know, good on him. But anyway, he's going to go for the knockoff. Uh, knockoff, I believe it does double damage if it actually knocks off a uh, item. So that is 110 base power knockoff uh, because uh, knockoff was uh, boosted to 55 power. So yeah, you'll notice that did a ton to Steelix. Uh, luckily for me though, I have Gardevoir, which is going to Mega Evolve into uh, a Digimon. Um, Fat Princess, the Digimon. I'm gonna evolve into Fat Princess and use Moonblast, and I actually was able to get maximum special attack modest on this guy. Girl, guy, it's a guy, it's it's a trap. Uh, so I'm just gonna Moonblast him to Oblivion, and then Galvantula comes in. Galvantula uh, likes uh, likes uh, transsexual men. Uh, it likes. Uh, drag queens it's gonna attract me and uh, I don't know the audio is turned off but if you've ever used attract in X and Y it has a sexy saxophone sound effect it goes blah, 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 and it's uh, amazing uh, luckily though Chippy Chaser is gonna come to his senses and just blast away that bug so yeah make a good make a guard of our doing work taking out two pokes that's really really nice Really, really nice. Really needed that. Uh, and now uh, Tiny Tim the Rotom, the nipple-sized Rotom, is going to come in. And, uh, you know, a similar situation to Mega Blaziken or Blaziken. Um, I have nothing to switch into, so I'm just going to Death Fodder Gardevoir, Mega Gardevoir, which is unfortunate. I was hoping for a miss, but no misses. Actually, no, he did miss the first Hydro Pump. I could have used that miss right here, because this Hydro Pump that he lands almost takes out uh, Despair Squid and had it critical hit. I would have uh, probably ate my hat, but it doesn't. I take it to the face and set up a Trick Room, which by the way looks fucking awesome in X and Y. Uh, so I get that up, and now I can go for a superpower, take out that Rotom. Uh, I, I see you are not a bulky Rotom, and that you are most definitely scarfed, so yeah. I'm gonna be way faster than you in Trick Room and just get that plus one attack and defense with superpower and heal a little bit with leftovers so yeah uh pretty cool blaziken's gonna come out uh he, he's obviously going to go for the protect uh to, to stall out a turn of trick room because you know whatever i'm gonna go for the psycho cut um a little risky i guess because uh he could have switched into his last which i had forgotten what his last was at this point because i actually did not write down his team his last is uh, greninja the dark water starter mon um but yeah i figured click superpower i will be able to kill blaziken if he switches into anything it should do good damage and it happens to be a uh, greninja so uh, psycho cut kind of lures out his uh, Greninja here, and that's going to be an easy kill. Now I have plus two attack and defense. Uh, Trick Room is still up, and uh, he's just got Blaziken here. Can Blaziken manage to take him out? Um, the Leftovers is, is healing a lot. Uh, one more turn of Leftovers healing, and I will be back in the green, um, but I, at the same time, I only have one turn of Trick Room remaining, so he's going to opt for the uh, Trick Room stalling outage strategy, which is a pretty good strategy. Uh, use Psy Cut, Psy Psycho, Psycho Cut, it doesn't do anything, but Leftovers brings me back to the green at 94. Twisted Dimensions return to normal, he gets a speed boost. Now it's down to this. Uh, let's see, he uses Flare Blitz. I live on fucking 10 HP. And then go for Trick Room, just to spite him, because I am a scummy bastard. Uh, and uh, on Facebook he said, good game, I did not expect this match at all, I left my DS open, I did actually challenge him like 20 minutes before, but he was busy, and uh, good game, Eric Johnny Plocks, aka X Digital Beam, I will link his uh, channel in the, in the description, holy shit, can I talk? I don't know if he's going to upload this or if he's uploaded any XY stuff, but go check him out anyway. That'll be it for Robotnik is Sexy. See ya later.